Hey friends, we are here in Pigeon Forge slash Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We're going to start off our trip in East Tennessee and work our way to Nashville and Memphis on the west side. But as you can see, if you've never been to Pigeon Forge, it is like I describe it as a Las Vegas for kids. Just miles of boulevard of stuff to do for kids and trinkets to buy for kids on both ends. It's going to be a great trip. All right, we're waiting for our check-in into our cabin, so we're gonna kill some time. We're here on the Old Mill Road to check out the Old Mill Restaurant, which is famous for their awesome country cooking. This road is pretty touristy. It's got restaurants and ice cream shops on both sides, but it's very charming. Parking was totally full. So you have to park far away, but we're finally here at the Old Mill. It is a pretty much a landmark of Pigeon Forge and a great restaurant. The Old Mill building is one of the oldest grist mills in the United States that made flour. And it also has a lot of history from the Civil War where they would make Union clothing in secrecy because East Tennessee was split between the Union and the Confederacy got great views of the Little Pigeon River and the ducks and the geese. So this is the Old Mill's lunch menu and they also do breakfast so you can take a look at what they offer. Most of it is good old down-home country cooking and I decided to get uh, the southern fried catfish. Comes with two sides. I got some green beans and some coleslaw and some mashed potatoes. Uh, the coleslaw comes with it on top of the two sides. And I think the menu is pretty affordable for some great food. also comes with a cup of corn chowder. They have these really cute salt and pepper shakers that are bears that represents the Great Smoky Mountains. And we were lucky and got a great view from our seat. When you get your meal, you get some hush puppies and freshly baked biscuits that were so light and fl flaky. And this is the inside of the Hush Puppy. It's a cornmeal based um, fritter. And it came with some maple butter that was so sweet and delicious and it goes so well with these flaky southern biscuits. This is the cup of soup that you get with your meal. It's southern corn chowder. And the difference is it's got a little bit of bell pepper in it. But I really enjoyed this corn chowder. It was absolutely delicious. I'd highly recommend it. So Bubba got the kids meal. It's chicken tenders with fries. My catfish came with two sides. So I got green beans and mashed potatoes. Got pieces of fried catfish with some hush puppies. And coleslaw on top of that with some tartar sauce. Looks really crispy and delicious. This is the catfish. It's quite thin, but it's crunchy, and the inside's moist, and it's not dry. And here's a close-up of the coleslaw, which was absolutely delicious, but the star of the show was surprisingly the green beans. And here's the check. Quite affordable. Here's the view from outside of the old mill, near the Little Pigeon River. Lots of people fishing for trout. It's a big thing here. And I think it's beautiful with the flowers and the lights out here on the bridge. So this is the Patriot Park area where you can fish for trout. It's fully stocked every year. We had a guy that caught two. We had no such luck. I guess it's way too hot and it's the middle of the day. So maybe we'll have more luck in Gatlinburg. All you need is a Tennessee license to fish here. And it's right next to the old mill and it shares um, lots of parking, although that parking lot is very packed because of all the restaurants but nice place to fish a whole bunch of people were just here and we are leaving just like them it is getting way too humid and hot here and our cabin is ready so we're going to head over there and drop off all our things so our cabin is finally done they email you at three o'clock the code and the address to the cabin which i already knew the address because i did very thorough research 
I picked this specific cabin out of all of these and the ones up on Starcrest because I wanted to be away from everyone else. I just wanted the porch to myself with no neighbors near you because some cabins there's somebody right next to you. So this is our cabin and the funny thing is it is called Misty Mornings. And I did not pick it because of the name. It's just that we have the whole porch here, as you can see, and nobody there. So let's take a look inside. All right, so this is our hoopty ride, too, from Budget. And the funniest thing is they give me Massachusetts plates, the most Yankee plates to travel in Tennessee, so everybody stares at you, instead of Georgia plates or something else. But it's a Honda Civic. It's all right. So here we are, Misty Mornings. This is from Outrageous Cabins. They also do uh, cabins near Starcrest, which is near Dollywood Cabins. We've got a very nice grill here, here with some tongs. I don't know if we'd make use of it, but it has everything. It's got the brush and another brush down there and a bucket for ashes. The trash is over there. It's bear proof. Come up here. Ooh, wow. There's a hot tub. Even though I would not want to be in a hot tub right now, it is so hot. It is hotter than Hawaii. It is some humid southern, ooh. And you want to look at the porch, yeah. Bubba? This is a nice porch to relax and smoke my cigars. And I guess that's the living room. Nice uh, high ceilings, a nice view on the rocking chairs. There's cabins next door, but they're a little bit farther away. So that's nice. Let's look for the code and get in. Okay, we opened up the door with the code that they give you on the day of check-in. There is two stories. And really cute. It's got some towels, I guess for the hot tub. A nice, awesome fireplace for if you come here in the fall or winter. A huge TV, some awesome decorations. Oh, look, there's a nice note with a welcome and it's a little puppy dog towel thing. That's cute. Welcome and thank you. And then the remote coffee table. Nice couches. Go ahead. There's the French doors, I guess, that lead out to that porch I told you about. A coat rack. This is the dining room table. And what is this? Garbage. Oh, a vacuum. It's got a Dishwasher, full kitchen, microwave and stove and oven, Keurig and coffee maker, blender. It's supposed to have everything in here so you don't have to bring anything. Yep, it's got the mugs, knives, forks and everything, and uh, probably plates and cups and stuff like that. Oh, even a strainer to make some pasta. Toaster. And here's the plates and bowls. And even some baking pans if you wanted to bake something. Here's a full freezer and fridge. That's nice. Nice and clean. And this is what I actually wanted this for the washer and dryer. So we only brought four pairs of clothing of everything. And we're just gonna constantly wash. Our other Airbnb has a washer and dryer as well. That way we have more space for our gifts and souvenirs. We've got um, the bathroom. Oh, even the bathroom's air conditioned. Very nice. Very nice shower. Nice uh, forestry kind of decorations. I guess they thought it was romantic, but I'm just here with my son. But if you're into romantic crap, there's um, 
swans, the bed, pretty nice bed. That door leads out to the hot tub and a TV. Got a pretty nice closet in here. And let's take a walk upstairs. Okay, so upstairs is supposed to be just a loft, but it's got some old school games. It's not plugged in, but it's like Pac-Man and stuff like that. It's got another bed if you want another guest in here. Supposedly the sofa also opens up to a bed. So if you want your whole family to be here, that's cool too. It's got another awesome TV and dresser drawer and another bathroom with a shower. So pretty awesome. This one has a tub. Here we are at Food City. Never heard of it. I guess it's a southern thing. But we're going to get some groceries and some libations and snacks and stuff. Let's check out their prices. Okay, we're just going to grab a few things uh, to snack on and drink. It looks like they have a nice produce section, but we're not going to really buy any produce. Place is nice and clean, and I thought it would be kind of fun to just compare prices to Hawaii's prices. $3.69 for Tennessee Pride. We like this sausage. We actually get it at the commissary a lot. It's really good. If you ever see it, you should try it. It's better than Jimmy Dean. Ooh, the bacon here is really expensive. $7.99. Some for six seventy nine. It's almost like Hawaii prices. All right, Bubba's getting Tostito scoops. That is four forty nine. Damn. Four seventy nine for chocolate milk. Gotta have the beer on vacation. Sixteen ninety nine. About the same as home. $3.99 for some Tropicana orange juice. And $3.79 if you want some Sunny D. $1.59 for half a dozen of eggs. Alright, after putting all those groceries away, we're here at Pigeon Forge Snow. It's a place that has artificial snow and a big ice slide for kids to slide on. So let's check it out. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. This place has so much stuff to do for kids and it just has so many places to entertain them. So we're ending our day at the island. It's just a big center of different restaurants. Got Margaritaville, Pizza Place. There is Paula Deans. And here is the beautiful river. And it's supposed to be super huge with a fountain show every 30 minutes where you can just sit in a rocking chair and watch the fountain. They have the big Ferris wheel and there's Paula Deen's. We want to eat there for dinner but the wait's always long. But let's check out the fountain. This whole place in Pigeon Forge is just a magnet for kids, sweets, there's ice cream, but there's also some Old Smoky Mountain Moonshine. I want to check that out. Build-A-Bear, lemonade, all kinds of stuff. So we found some rocking chairs to sit in, huh? Yeah? So they got all these rocking chairs for you guys to sit in and you just enjoy the show. Pretty cool. There's Paula Deans. The Skyfly. It's a brand new ride. The Old Smoky 
Moonshine Company and the big Ferris wheel. We're going to try that out and also try the Skyfly. All right, we're trying the Skyfly, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty much like a movie theater, and the seats move with you, and it feels like you're flying. So what'd you think of the Skyfly? Good! That was so good. Um, it really does rock you, so I couldn't use my camera, although they did let you do video without any flash, but... I don't know. That was kind of jerky, but it was so realistic. I would highly recommend that it. That was awesome. I'll go here. Yeah, they got all kinds of rides here for the kids. A little coaster over there. Yeah, he does. And this big Ferris wheel. We're going to try that. And then we're going to go on this big Ferris wheel. And you just get your tickets here. And it goes on your card. It's pretty expensive. It's uh, $15 for adults and $10 for a child. But why not? Let's see Pigeon Forge from above. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Skyfly that we just did. There's some kitty rides down there. There's Dick's Last Resort, which I've been to in Vegas. I don't even know if it's, if it's still there. That was in the Excalibur. There's the Old Smoky Moonshine Brewery. There's another one in Gatlinburg. There's Paula Dean's Family Restaurant, which we're going to try to get into tonight. Hopefully, it still looks like there's a long wait. And the main parkway of Pigeon Forge back there. The sun doesn't set till late. It's already 9, 1930 or 7.30 p.m. And we're coming back down. There's some more rides there. Pretty crowded. On a Tuesday, anyway. Ooh, it stopped and we had a great view of the whole island. sun is setting so the lights are out now they're doing the fountain show we were talking about when we first got there and you can see all the people on the rocking chairs just enjoying the show and I think that's really neat it's got everything a kid loves interactive 70 adventures an escape room you've got candy ice cream that sky fly thing you got the pool there I think that's part of the hotel Margaritaville you've got um all the other smaller rides, and yeah, this is what I would call, like I always say, this whole strip here in Pigeon Forge, it goes all the way down to there, where you can't see, and it's just, everything is kid stuff. It's like a kid's Las Vegas. All this Paula Deen stuff, so cool. Boy, cook stuff, her cookbooks, and we're just waiting. It's only a 15 minute wait right now, it's almost 8 p.m. So we kind of came at the really good time. There was a long line outside. Here's some of her spices, I might get that as gifts. We had some pickled items, some bread mix, honeys and some dressing, and burger, and queso dip, hot sauce. Wow, super cool. So we got this pager, and we're gonna go upstairs when it beeps to eat. And my cell phone died, so I can't get really good close-ups. It's a nice painting of some barnyard animals that Aiden likes his sheep. 
Are you going to pretend you're cooking on the pot? <laughs> got the sweet tea. Aiden's got his cheddar biscuits. What do you want to try first? Uh, the mac. You want to actually try the mac and cheese? Yeah, just a kid, just a try. Okay, and the chicken. I want to try this and Oh, awesome. Do you yes. anything else? Um, no, we're all set. Thank you. I thought you said we're going to get the mac and cheese for if it's better. This was a fabulous dinner and we're ending it with a chocolate ooey gooey cake. All right, guys, we're going to bed. It's been a long day, but here's the bill, and we'll see you again on day two.